This video is brought to you by Metal Deep, a sci-fi fantasy book series. Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and I have an awesome surprise for Galaxy S5 Verizon subscribers. Yes, Android 5.0 Lollipop is now available for your device. To find out if your update is available for your phone, it is rolling out. You can just go to your settings, scroll all the way down, got system update, and then you should see a pop-up come up after you check it. So I already checked it, just go ahead and hit check software update, then you'll get this pop-up right here, and all you have to do is hit download. So you'll see up here at the status bar, the software update is downloading. So we're gonna go through this whole process and see what it looks like, see what you can expect. I'm really excited about this because the Android Lollipop is awesome. I'm really curious to see what it's gonna look like on the Galaxy S5 with TouchWiz in the mix as well. So let's go ahead and let this download and I'll be right back with you. All right, so it seems like it should be finishing up pretty fast. It didn't take very long to download at all. All right, so the software update is already ready to install, so we'll go ahead and install now. Now it should give you a reboot kind of screen. See what it looks like. We're gonna go through this whole thing so you can see what the experience is like. Now obviously if you're rooted, you might not wanna do this because you'll lose root in the process. You probably won't even be able to update it anyways but you get your little Android guy here to let you know that everything's working all right. You get a little status bar down here. I had a little bit of experience with Android 5.0 Lollipop with the Nexus 6. I really like the update. It's got some pretty cool stuff involved with it. I really like how the system is set up. It's got some nice user-friendly uh, kind of stuff that just kind of keeps the customer experience in mind, which is what I like. That's what Baintech is about, the everyday user experience. And I think they added some really cool stuff. I'd say it's just as good as iOS 8 as far as, you know, interoperability, the continuity, the just the way it works hand in hand with the Google ecosystem. So I'm really excited to get this on this phone. And it's really cool that us Verizon subscribers, we get something to actually brag about with this update. Like, there's nobody else except for Nexus devices that has this in the United States. So that's just awesome in itself. Oh, of course, you know, if you're rooted and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just saying stock, not rooted. This is the only device right now at this moment, at least at the time of this recording, that you can get Android 5.0 Lollipop on a device without being rooted or having a Nexus phone. So this is really cool. I'm I'm pretty pumped about this. I, I saw the news update, oh man, I gotta check my phone, see the update. Oh, I was like, oh man, again, I gotta go make a video. So that's what I'm doing now. This is pretty cool. So it shouldn't take that much longer. It looks like the status bar is starting to get pretty full. Should be seeing some more progress here in just a few minutes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about Android 5.0 actually making it to the Galaxy S5 Verizon variant. Like they're beating a lot, a lot of companies to the punch with this. This is not expected. Most of the time, Galaxy phones, Samsung, they're kind of, not to mention Verizon, they're, they're kind of behind most of the time on these kind of updates, especially these bigger ones. So it's really, really neat to see this getting updated this quickly or just ahead of so many others. I expected for HTC to actually get it. So now that I think about, yeah, Motorola devices, they had their rollout. So this is one of the first, uh, of the first batches, I guess you could say Motorola and now Samsung have Android 5.0 running on their devices. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm excited, I'm not thinking straight. I'll also doped up on cold medicine right now. So it's like, uh, definitely not thinking straight, but here we go. Here's the normal boot screen. Got our lovely Verizon boot animation. By the way, I'm so glad they went to the red screen instead of the bright white that they used to have. That was pretty annoying. All right, come on. So close, but so far away. All right, up, do, okay, Android is upgrading. That's a normal screen that we see. So we're at 92 of 219. Uh, I guess I just have a lot of apps installed. That's my bad. 
Almost there. It's starting to hurry up. All right, so it's about to finish up. We got the last optimization going on. Starting apps, so we should see the home screen real soon. Now, I'm not sure about what the full change log is. I'll have to find a link and put that down below in the description. But I'll just kind of go through the, the main parts of the screen and see what we see right away. So obviously Go Pats, and they won the Super Bowl, so I had to throw my lock screen wallpaper up there. So let's see. So we still got, that still looks the same. Let's see what we can do from the home lock screen area. That looks all the same. So I'm really wondering what's changed. Now obviously probably when some notifications come through, things will look differently. So I might have to get some notifications to push through. All right. Don't know why Amazon is loading. All right, so here we go. Software update complete. Congratulations, your device has been updated successfully. The second part of this update will be available soon. So that's weird. You got two parts. All right, let's go to our settings. Go to system update. Last successful update. There's our number that we're going to look for. Obviously, you can check for a new update. And here's my phone number here, the Samsung SMG900V. Just to prove to you that this is the Galaxy S5 on Verizon. Alright, so this is taking longer than I want it to. Alright, so it says uh, update is available, so we'll go ahead and download this again. So this hopefully is the second part that they're talking about. We'll let this download and I'll just speed up all these kind of download progress bars and try to get through this thing. All right, so that part finished up. So we'll just hit install now, just like we did before. And we should see it reboot. Here we go. The install finished and so we should see it come back to our home screen. Maybe we'll see some more changes than what we saw before. Alright, so that definitely looks like Lollipop right there. That's different because of this is a white background. That was a dark background before, so that's already different. That's a very good sign. I'm really curious to see if this is going to be like a stock Android experience because the rumors have it that the Galaxy S6 is supposed to be like a Nexus kind of experience. So I'm really curious to see what it's going to be like. That's, um, <laughs> that's just a really good sign right there. I'll go ahead and let that finish up and I'll be right back with you once it's done. All right, so the last few apps are about to be all optimized. And we should start to see more of what Android Lollipop looks like on the Galaxy S5. Now just mind you that you're going to have to budget some time for this update. It's actually taken a little while to do. Just between downloading and optimizing, it's been a pretty good while to even get this far. Alright, so I just felt a little vibrate, so everything should be coming on really soon. Next few seconds, hopefully. <laughs> My battery's dying. I think I had about 30% battery life on this 
um, before I got it going. So, yeah, so everything right now so far is looking like Android 5.0. Look at that. That's the way the notification looks. So you still got the TouchWiz look here, but the notification drawer looks like Android Lollipop. So let's see what this prompt was about. Just Google Play Services. That should be all right. So it does look a little different as far as like the animation kind of slider here goes. Okay. So when you tap it, it actually brings it just to that. You don't, like before all this would stay, you just see the slider go up and down. So that's different. It's kind of got a yellow look to it versus any kind of green. So that's definitely different. You can see all the normal stuff here. Still got a flat look to it. So it's definitely interesting. Let's see what the menu buttons look like. All right, that's normal from what we've seen before. And this is different here too. This is all white, that used to be black. So it definitely looks like Lollipop, looks like the Nexus kind of six look almost. See, I'm getting some kind of play services error. You know, I got Nova Launch on here, so you know, none of that's gonna look the same. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that, I'll be right back. One of the things about, let me, <laughs> let me back up a little bit. One of the things about Android 5.0 is that you get animations with pretty much every interaction that you have, whether it's just the tap. So when I went to the applications, if you watch closely, you see a little ripple effect. So that was definitely different. I'm just going in here to clear the default so that way we can see what the home launcher looks like. I should get the option. Okay, you have the slide up. All right, so I was obviously granted the option to choose what launcher I wanna use and I'm gonna try just this one as just once. That way I can kind of see what it looks like if it's any different. And it's not looking like it's the Google launcher at all. Yeah, it's definitely not. So that was gonna be interesting. If we can, ah, it's just my magazine. I was hoping that was gonna be, you know, Google Now. So it's definitely not gonna be that. So I'm gonna go back to Nova Launcher and hit Always, because I have it set up the way I want. So it's definitely looking like Android Lollipop flavor to it with some touch which is still there. It's definitely better than the last update with KitKat. So I'm really liking that a lot. That's pretty cool. You know, all the Google apps, they all update themselves. So, you know, as far as apps go, Google's already updated their stuff to Lollipop look anyways. But this is definitely, definitely looking like Android Lollipop with the TouchWiz, you know, kind of mix. So that's pretty cool. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. I'm going to have to investigate these little errors here with the play kind of stuff. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Looks like it might just be updating or something. There's just one last thing we got to do. We got to go down to the build number. Here we got now the developer. All right, so let's tap the Android 5.0, get the animation, see if that game comes up that we're all so familiar with. All right, so it changes the colors. Hold it down. And we got our <laughs> flappy droid game that comes on. This is, <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this.